who asks, what would you recommend as a build list for a drone to film drag races, including race bikes, so as fast, so fast? Thank you for a $20 super chat, ZLB07. Um, the first question you have to ask is, what is your top speed that you need to achieve? And the second question you need to ask is, how long do you need to hold that speed? Now, the good news is that if you're filming drag racing, you don't need to hold the speed very long and you don't need to go very far. You're gonna go about a quarter mile, right? And your top speed is, let's say your top speed is gonna be as much as 150 miles an hour. I don't know. How fast does a race bike, a drag racing bike go? Drag racing cars, if you're if you're hitting, you know, 150 miles an hour on the on the quarter, you're going pretty, pretty damn fast. Um let's like, let's see. How fast is an eight second quarter mile? Your trap speed is well, it's 170 to 190. That's that's pretty fast. So I feel like I feel like there aren't a lot of uh, drag cars at the strip on the weekend that are going to be going that fast. Uh, I just picked eight seconds because that was like the lowest I thought like a, a sort of normal car might be able to hit. I think that might have been a little aggressive. So maybe a nine or ten second quarter mile is more realistic. Nobody really. Controller man Dan. How many people are hitting 200 miles an hour at like on the weekend at the drag strip? I, I if I could be wrong, that feels that feels pretty far out though. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, you're not gonna you, you're gonna struggle to build a drone that can go 200 miles an hour. A drone that goes 150, 160 miles an hour is fairly doable. Uh, above that, without you're gonna want arrow. You need arrow. So you can go, you could go to 300 kilometers an hour on 6S with the right props and good aero. But if you're just going to build a drone and you're not going to put aero into it, then like fairings and stuff, then you're, you're going to top out around 150, 160, uh, unless you do something really extraordinary. Um, so I would say that you could... Look at 6S 2700 KV for the motors. Get a really good quality ESC. Set the timing to high. <laughs> set DMAG compensation to max. And start playing with that. Uh, with the right props, you'll hit 150, 160 miles an hour with a 6S 2700 KV setup. You're going to need a very good ESC or you're going to smoke the ESC or smoke motors. But... I think that's that's doable. And as the Roberito points out, you're only going to hit that speed at the very end of the strip. What you need is to keep up for the first uh you know 8 or 10 or 9 seconds. And so at the you're at the beginning the car's going to outrun you. You're going to because you're going to have to lay back. My that's my point. At the beginning if you just jump off the blocks, you'll beat the car to the quarter mile and it won't even see it because the drone accelerates so much faster. So you're going to start after the cars start and you're going to accelerate with them and they're only be going to be going max speed for the very end of the run. So maybe you don't even need to go 150 miles an hour. Maybe you could build like 2100 kV 6S and your top speed is say going to be 100, 100 to 120 miles an hour at the most. But okay, so for the last two seconds of the run, the cars pull away from you while you kind of climb and you don't follow them right across the quarter mile, right on their tail. That's okay. So yeah, I'd say start with something like, I think 21 or 2200 KV 6S on five inch props. That's gonna be much less likely to blow your ESCs and, uh, and is pretty achievable by a normal person. The other thing is you're gonna need a ton of batteries because you're just gonna smoke batteries. You'll get one or two runs and then you'll be done with your battery but it, that's pretty achievable.